What's going on guys? So today I want to show you three different tie knots that you can use that can range from casual all the way to formal. And also these different knots can enhance the type of collar that your shirt has. I'm gonna get through this pretty quick, so stick with me. Okay, welcome back and as always, I'm happy that you're here. So really quick, I do wanna say right, up, right off the top that I am filming this into a mirror and I'm doing that intentionally because this is exactly what you would see if you were standing in front of your mirror. So if you're using this video on your phone, standing in front of a mirror, they're going to look exactly the same. It's weird and opposite to have the camera facing directly at you because it would just be reversed. Anyway, the first tie knot that I wanna show you is I believe this one's called the Oriental. Very, very simple. Um, and if you're a larger guy and you have a regular tie, this one is not gonna take up a whole lot of material. So the chances of your tie being like really, really short on you are reduced doing this. So we're starting with my right side is the small end and it's pretty short as you can see, it's right about, right about here. And I'm taking the large, the fat end going over the top, okay? I'm going back underneath this way if I can get that. So once I've gone underneath, it looks pretty much like this. I'm taking this end going over the top and I'm using my fingers here as um, just to give myself a little bit of space. And I'm going up underneath the main loop that, whoops, the main loop that wraps around my neck. Then I'm taking the space that I created with my fingers and I'm going right down through that loop as you can see and I'm pulling it straight through. I'll snug that up a little bit pull the small end to tighten it up to your neck. And then you just adjust from there. As you can see, this is a pretty small knot. And since the shirt I'm wearing is a standard point collar, it tends to work because there's not a whole lot of space between my points. I will put on a uh, widespread collar in a minute and use a larger tie knot. But anyway, this is a very casual, very simple tie knot. And this is the Oriental. All right, the next tie knot that I wanna show you is called the four in hand. Very popular. I'd say that probably 90% of the guys are running around with this particular tie knot. It is gonna use a little more tie material. So I'm gonna start about the same, maybe just a little bit shorter on the small side on my right. All right, so starting out just like the Oriental, pinch here, go underneath. But instead of going back up, right, we're gonna go and carry it around one more time. So going around again. So this is my second loop. I'm gonna make a little bit of space here because I'm gonna come back down through uh, this loop. So now I'm going back underneath and then this first loop, not both loops, but just this first one, back down through. And so the tie knot's gonna be a little bit bigger and this one's gonna be you know, asymmetrical, which means it's not gonna be perfectly straight and it's not gonna be a perfect triangle, but it does fill up the space between my collar points a little bit better and uh, it basically looks just like this. You'll have to sort of fuss with it and get it to where you like it. But it does, as you can see, sort of angle off to the side a little bit and that is how that's supposed to be. It just adds to the casual nature of the four in hand. All right, next I'm gonna show you the half Windsor. So this one's gonna give you that really nice symmetrical, pretty good sized triangle. I did switch shirts because this is gonna be a pretty extreme cutaway widespread collar. And so what I've done is I've switched my, my tie. So now my short side is on my left, the big end is on my right. And I'm starting with about this discrepancy, right? Cause I'm gonna use a lot of this end. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna take the large end and I'm gonna go around the small end, hold it. Basically what I'm doing at this point is going behind the small end and I'm taking this and I'm gonna go up and over this side right here, right? So I'm just gonna loop this side, if I can grab it, <laughs> right around that side. And I'm gonna mess with that a little bit to make sure it's not too wrinkled. And as you can see, I've already got a, kind of a half of a triangle. So now this is in my right hand. I'm gonna go over the front and I'm just gonna cover up what I've just done, okay? I'm gonna switch hands. And since I've just created this loop, I'm gonna go up and under around the back side, and this loop right here, I'm gonna go right down through it. And we are almost done. Just like that. 
and I actually got pretty lucky. I've got uh, a dimple established already. And as you'll see, this tie knot, since it's a lot bigger and wider, takes up a lot of that space between my spread collar. You can sort of fuss around with that, adjust that, get that to the way you like it. And that, my friends, is the Half Windsor. And just for sort of a bonus, I want to show you on the widespread collar, I want to show you the oriental knot. So it's a really small knot. So again, uh, small end on my right, large end on my left. I'm taking my left and I'm going over the small end, going back under, right across, leave a little bit of a gap here with my fingers, up under and then right down through the gap that my finger created. So what you're going to see here is a very small knot that isn't going to really take up a whole lot of space between my collar points on this particular shirt. I mean, sometimes that can look okay, but I would say that um, if you are gonna be running with a cutaway collar, that you go with a larger tie knot to cover up the distance and just really to take up some of that space. I mean, as you can see, that's not a bad look, but you can kind of see the extra material here, but kind of depends on what you want. But again, I would recommend a half Windsor for something like this. Okay, gentlemen, that's where I'm gonna jump off today. But if you got something out of this video, please hit that little thumbs up button and also consider hitting the little red subscribe button down below because I'm here at least twice a week with brand new videos that surround men's lifestyle topics for grownups. So if you're a subscriber, that means I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, live well, and I do hope to see you very soon.